Hello and welcome to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, we will learn how to calculate the value of effective vertical stress in a flow net, which is usually asked in many important civil engineering exams, and you should try to learn it. The question is shown and it states that the flow net for seepage under a sheet pile wall is shown in figure below. The saturated unit weight of soil being 20 kN per meter cube. Calculate the quantity of seepage if the coefficient of permeability of the soil is 2 into 10 raised power minus 5 meter per second. Determine the value of effective vertical stress at points A and B. The saturated unit weight of soil is given as 20 kN per meter cube. Number of flow channels in the flow net are 5.5 that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 0 0.5 which is equal to 5.5 number of equipotential drops in the flow net are 12 that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 the total head loss between upstream and downstream is 8 meter we are taking the datum at the top of the downstream water level so we can see that the difference between upstream water level and downstream water level is 8 meters so the head loss is equal to 8 meter head loss per equipotential drop is equal to h divided by nd which is equal to 8 divided by 12. permeability of soil is given as 2 into 10 raised power minus 5 meter per second the quantity of seepage is given as K times H times NF times NF divided by ND. Putting values, we get the quantity of seepage equal to 7.33 into 10 raised power minus 5 meter cube per second per meter. Now to calculate the value of effective vertical stress at the points A and B, we first need to calculate the value of pore water pressure at point A and point B. To calculate the value of pore water pressure at, at these points, we need to know the value of pressure head at these points. So we will first calculate the pressure head at these points. To calculate the pressure head, we will first calculate the total head at A. We can see the total head at A is equal to total head at upstream minus head loss up to A. Total head at upstream is 8 meter head loss up to A is equal to number of put equipotential drops up to A multiplied by head loss per equipotential drop. From the flow net we can see that the number of equipotential drops up to A are 3.9 that is 1, 2, 3 and 0 0.9 and head loss per equipotential drop is 8 by 12. So the total head at A would be equal to 5.4 meter. Now the elevation head of A is equal to minus 7 meter. We can see the distance of point A from the datum is 1 plus 6 that is equal to 7 meter. Since we are moving in downward direction of the datum so it would be negative that is minus 7 meter. Pressure head at A is equal to total head at A minus elevation head of A which is equal to 5.4 plus 7 which is equal to 12.4 meter. Now we have the value of pressure head at A so we can calculate the value of pore water pressure at A which is given as pressure head at A times the unit weight of water which is equal to 12.4 times 9.81 which is equal to 121.64 kilopascal. After calculating the value of pore water pressure at A we can we have to now calculate the value of total stress at point A. The total stress at point A is given as saturated unit weight of soil multiplied by the distance of point A from the ground level that is 11 meter plus unit weight of water multiplied by the depth of water above the ground level that is 4 meter. So the total stress at point A is equal to 12, 20 times 11 plus 9.81 times 4 which is equal to 259.24 kilopascal. Now the effective stress at point A is simply given as total stress minus pore water pressure which is equal to 
minus 121.64, which is equal to 131.6 kilopascal. So this gives us the value of effective stress at point A. Similarly, for point B, we will first calculate the total head at point B, which is equal to total head at upstream, minus head loss up to point B. We can see the number of equipotential drops up to B are 9.6, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0 0.6, which is equal to 9.6, and head loss per equipotential drop is 8 divided by 12. So the total head at point B is equal to 1.6 meter. Again, the elevation head of point B is minus 7 meter, that is the distance of point B from datum is 7 meter since we are in the downward direction so the elevation head is minus 7 meter pressure head at point b is total head minus elevation head which is equal to 1.6 plus 7 which is equal to 8.6 meter pore water pressure at point b is given as pressure head at point b times the unit weight of water which is equal to 8.6 times 9.81 which is equal to 84.37 kilo pascal. The total stress at point B is given as saturated unit weight of soil multiplied by the distance of point B from the ground surface which is 6 meter plus unit weight of water times the distance of the multiplied by the height of water table water table above the ground surface that is 1 meter which is equal to 20 times 6 plus 9.81 times 1 which is equal to 129.81 kilo pascal. Effective stress at point B is given as total stress minus pore water pressure which is equal to 129.81 minus 84.37 which is equal to 45.44 kilo pascal. So this gives us the procedure how can we calculate the effective vertical stress in a flow net. Hope you guys found this video helpful and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.